Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Oh, I, I look. Look at this. This is the proof. This is all we need. Oh yeah, this is the real deal. Goose is kind of dancing, cause homie. I know, I know. I know that's not your scientific name, okay? I'm just fooling around. I'm just messing. It was a joke, homie. It was a joke. All right, anyway, that's a battle that we're definitely losing, ladies and gentlemen. The enemy is everywhere. Then chickens. All right, all right. All jokes, all inside jokes aside. You all know what we're going to be doing in this YouTube video, huh? Per the title of the video itself. We're going to be testing some Joe's flies. Does it perform? How exactly does it perform? Does it catch fish? And what species can we catch with it in one of our local creeks, right? That is the main objective of the day. And I got to tell you all, this is actually quite a unique lure because this is kind of like a hybrid, right? It is kind of like an inline spinner meets the fly type of lure. I usually find these at my local Walmart at a very reasonable price, around $3 per lure. And I tell you all what, I have, I'm a little bit ashamed to admit this, especially because my southern friends tell me that this works really good, but I have only used Joe's flies two times before in my entire life. I remember that the castability wasn't really great without the help of a split shot, and that's why I kind of quit using them. But now, we kind of have new weapons in our arsenal, right? So I thought, man, let me go down to my local creek and get some slaying on. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. Follow me. <laughs> Those local creek experiences are always bittersweet, yeah? You come down here and you actually see the deer tracks and the beautiful mother nature. At the same time, you see this disgusting layer of oil over here. Some acid mine drainage right in front of my camera over here, right? This orange stuff that is high in iron. I mean, you can't really make this up, right? Anyways, uh, game plan for today is just wade the Ridley Creek up and down, hit some holes as always, right? That's what I really like to do. And I tell you all what, we do have a little side quest for today. I don't really have a fall fish for 2022 yet. I know, believe it or not, I've been slacking, right? So hopefully we're going to land one in the video today. Let's test the custability of the baby first over here, okay? Let's see how it cast with five pounds, liter. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, the castability is much, much better than back in the days, even without the use of a split shot. And the thing does spin, you know, I mean, for an inline spinner, I mean, come on, right? The blade has to spin. So, so far, so good. All right, I'm gonna start heading down the creek over here, find some deeper places. And man, we are going to, or at least I feel like, we're going to slay. Oh yeah, you see this right over here? This is one of my favorite runs along this portion of the creek. Sometimes we just swing it out there, and there's a fish right around. Gotta be one in that deeper area over there. Perfect for a fly. Ooh, ooh. That gets your blood pumping, boy. Sometimes a fly falls from the tree, I was going to say. Oh yeah, dude, that was a nice splash, that's for sure. Wow, well, you got to love yourself runs like this, right? This is where usually there's like a nice fish around. Oh yeah. Maybe not a nice fish, but our first fish of the day. Nothing is better than actually coming to some of your holes in your local creek to test some lures. First species of the day, and today we are going to keep a species count here in this video, okay? We got the mighty 
rock bass, Amblopletus rupestris in its full spawning colors. You can see the black here down the fins, right? Oh yeah, this fish is, is ready, you know, to lay some eggs and do some business down there. Didn't really get on that treble hook over there, just a single one there at the back. So I'm gonna do a quick unhooking. All right, let's see here, beautiful get it all the way out all right no photos for this little fella okay just back to the creek Amblopletus rupestris not bad not bad at all this is actually a great lure for creek fishing every time you give it a cast i feel at least one small tap look at that oh yeah oh that may just be our species 88 of 2022. You know, man, you throw the stuff down there and they just feel like the fly just whoop, fell into the creek. Not a bad lure at all. And check that out, huh? This is exactly what I came looking for. Nice sample too, okay, of a fall fish, Semotilus corporalis, right? Cousin to the creek chub and a very sensitive species of fish. So for this sample in particular, I'm not gonna really take photos, okay? Beautiful silvery kings of my local area got caught on the single hook again. Wow, not on the treble. I'm a little bit surprised by that, not gonna lie. All right, let's give it a nice release right over here, okay? The clear waters of Ridley Creek. Look at that, this is a native species too, to the state of Pennsylvania, going back where it belongs. A lot of people give a lot of credit to the invasive trout around our creeks. Not a lot of people actually give it enough credit to the fall fish, right? A native species that has been here way before the Europeans came to North America. All right, that's good. That was the species number 88 for 2022. Man, if we are starting the video this way, I gotta tell you, sky's the limit. <laughs> Great cast. Fish on. All the way on the shallows of the other side. Nice red breast too. That's the thing. Holy smokes, look at that. Mmm, yes sir. Sometimes the fish will stay in the shallows. Now the problem is, this one inhale both hooks. You see that? We have to be careful with that small treble hook. The single hook is very easy to come out, you see that? But if he inhales the little treble hook, boy, you gotta be in trouble. So just so you all know, you know, I'm not really a big fan of that little treble hook, even though it does catch all the smaller species of fish. The good news is that with just a simple pair of scissors, right? You can kind of cut it off back at home and then you can just have a single hook if you don't like the trailer, right? All right, all right, so far things are going good. I'm gonna wait all the way down there and see if something exceptionally beautiful or nice in size is going to come to us. Oh man. A bass almost hit my Joe's flies. Almost. Why didn't he hit it? I don't get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Oh, he's easy. I think it's a smallie. Boy, it's running. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smally, Joe's flies is small. No, 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 come over here, come over here. There's a lot of wood on that side. Nice. Our first, I guess, sub decent catch from the creek today. Yeah. Smally on the Joe's flies. Came right from that side of the trunk, too. Easy, easy down, boy, easy. Got to be careful holding this fish because of that little treble hook right there. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Man, that's a nice smally, beautiful smally from Reedley Creek. I wanted to give a folks a third person POV of this fish over here, but it is really not that easy to set up the camera around this part of the creek. So we're just going to release it. All right, there we have it. 
first sub decent catch from the Ridley Creek. Very, very healthy Smalley with somewhat a bump on the head over here, right? Check that out. That's that's interesting. Right over there. Kind of gave you the eyes in the shade. Oh, look at the colors of that creature. And let me tell you, they fight so good. You come out here, that one's swimming back there, right back to the trunk area over there. Man, they fight so good. You just can't go wrong. Oh yeah, boy. What we got here? <laughs> Large mouth. Just change the angle. Cast the fly at the same spot where I caught the smallie. Fool the large mouth into biting. Look at that. <laughs> right on the side of the mouth too. Yeah, that is what's up. <laughs> Tiny, but nice fish for the Ridley Creek. At least this portion of it. It is definitely a bittersweet experience here at the Ridley Creek. Pros and cons. I used to like the spot, this particular hole in the creek back in the days and i came here you know after not coming here for a good while hey, easy now bro easy adjusting its jaw thankfully it was good to go but as i was saying i didn't come here for quite a while and this hole over here that used to be really really deep with the boulders is not that deep anymore right probably because of all the stuff after rain that it gets washed down here but then you have the pros that some of the fish that are around the area, well, they're still around here, right? Mainly around that piece of trunk right over here. Every time I come to this particular creek, I always land one or two bass around this area. So I'm not extremely disappointed. Not to mention that the water quality here at Ridley Creek is still quite good. All right, that being said, I'm going to start heading upstream now find a location to put my bag down so that i can give you all an update on what's been going on here with the joe's flies i'm going to grab myself a little cliff bar for today we got here the crunchy peanut butter because it is just past noon and I need my energy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, catching this tiny fish is no joke. It takes a lot of energy. Well, that being said, we're currently at about seven different species of fish. I'm going to leave the numbers over here for now, right, of what we have caught today so far. Out of those seven, four of them were caught on the Joe's flies. So you know what, so far, pros and cons right very good lure natural presentation sometimes you throw it in there the fish misses the first strike it will come back for a second or a third strike another pro is that it's got a little trailer hook at the back right a little treble hook so that you can catch even the smallest species around the creek now when it comes to the cons i gotta tell you the little treble hook sometimes the fishing hail both the single and the treble at the same time so i mean if you fish joe's flies definitely make sure that you have some pliers with you at all times out of all the fish that i caught today i used it only two times and the only other con that i can think of right is that sometimes when you cast it it is rare but it happens the little treble hook at the back gets caught up on the blade hole so that it has no action whatsoever. So you have to ruin the entire thing, right? And take it out by hand and cast it again. So, I mean, you know, Avalure has its pros and cons, right? Overall, I am enjoying using this one a lot. And I really think I'm going to use it more often in the future. All right, let me have my lunch here real quick, like I told you guys. And after I have my little cliff, we're going to start heading upstream all right that's why creeks are fascinating i haven't really been to this creek for quite a while come back here and you know everything changed everything changed i'm walking to the left side over here now because i'm going to start casting towards the right side where the pipe over there is discharging water but i can tell you all right away that besides the water level being extremely low right here right 
probably because it is getting to summertime, it used to be much deeper than it is right now. I don't know exactly what happened to this creek, if it is just erosion on the sides of it, but whew, the siltation over here is just, it's real, you know? All right, anyways, let's just start walking over there. We're going to approach with finesse and we're going to see if there's anything nice around there. Okay, that was instant hit. Okay, all right, all right, getting a little bit better. Apparently there are some bigger fall fish around here. Silvery kings of the creek, right? Little treble hook at the end, you see that? Boy, oh boy, all right, let me hook down here real quick. Top of the mouth, out! Sir, yes sir, like I said, they are so sensitive. You got to make sure, oh yeah, that one was ready to go. Mmm, no bass, huh? Only foil fish. I mean, foil fish is better than nothing. I'll give you that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a smolly, right? That can be a foil fish. It's got to be a smolly or something, right? Oh, it's a big foil fish. Oh my lord. I really thought it was a smolly or something. Look at the size. It's getting bigger and bigger now. Hooked on the side of the mouth, barely. Wow, this has got to be the biggest one of today so far. Again, on the small treble hook, trailer hook right here. That is crazy. Wow, good sizes though. Gotta give it credit, look at that. Dang, son. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take your time, take your time. That's beautiful. So underappreciated. <sighs> Boy, what a day, what a day. It is hot out here. It feels good to wade during the summertime, you know. Just be around the creeks, around the water, and around modern nature. Well, I tell you all what, today is one of those days. I'm going to let the numbers speak for themselves. I will give this Joe Flies a solid 9 out of 10, okay? It does work. It is very interesting. I mean, the idea behind the lure itself, right? A combination of a spinner with a fly, boom! It's kind of pretty cool. And it is truly a multi-species is layer so i mean besides the micros that you guys see up here everything else was caught on two joe flies mainly the black one and this is where you know in this portion of the video that i'm going to let you all know there are two things that i need to tell you though before i finish this video and thing number one i'm just gonna grab my rod over here real quick thing number one is that i really really do recommend uh, folks who practice catch and release to actually take this little you know treble hook here at the back out i did have two fish today choke on it pretty bad you know and i mean i felt so bad because i had to go with the pliers deep in there and the treble hook is actually a small treble hook right so it is actually very very complicated to take it out the smaller the treble hook more complicated to unhook so if you were into catch and release you know like i am in the future i think i'm going to use it you know without the trailer hook and the second thing is the collar okay i'm not saying that the green doesn't work around my area but i only caught one fish on it i mean on my way back here to the spot from the pipe that was discharging i gave a good forecast over there with this lure you know juicy plenty of fish didn't get a single hit on my way back here too you know the fish were there they were not even following the thing right so again i'm not saying that the green doesn't work sometimes you know it just so happens that in the creek here ridley creek maybe the fish are kidding on the black right maybe they're feeding on bugs over here that are black in color i mean 
it's hard to find bug with green color feather but anyways right i'm not saying that this is not going to work around your area the bottom line is when you pick this online or on the store or in the store if you want to give it a go just don't forget to pick the color carefully all right I hope you all enjoyed this video, you know, I am very, very satisfied with this non-sponsored product over here, and I will use it in the future, during my fishing adventures. I'll see you all next time, tie lines, and take it easy.